Okay, everyone, what's happening? Welcome to the studio, and I am struggling still with the allergies, so we're going to do our best to make it through this continued discussion on strings. So we had our face. I don't know if you looked at the thread on our Facebook page at all, but it was a pretty big thread of like, hey, what's your favorite strings? And we posted some stuff. You remember we did a string video a little while, a little while ago, right? Kind of just talked a little about, about some GHS strings. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through some some comments, but um, yeah, any follow-up kind of on the strings that we used? I know that you put some strings on your Novo and then took some off and kind of what's the latest string report from Marco? <laughs> yes, I guess it just is evidence that uh, we like what we like for a reason. And I guess mm-hmm. where we settle into, we seem to like and then maybe even crave or whatever um, because I had the strings on there and I was messing around with them for a bit, but I was like, okay, time to go back to the old standbys because they just they feel comfortable. It's like a, a well-worn pair of jeans, I guess. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, yeah, that's just, this just feels right. So I went back to my old strings. I mean, I just, it's fun to not mention brands. I guess if you know me, you know what I like, but <laughs> I was just like, okay, well, time to go back to the old thing and, and maybe it'll be good to try and another string change, another brand or something. Yeah, but it seems like the consistency that you liked, I, I think it's D'Addario, I can just say it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the consistency that you liked versus what you had on there, um, it just worked. And when you put them back on, I think you got the same results that you expected, right? Mm-hmm, yep. yeah. Yeah, and so I think that's been a theme. I'm, I'm looking through some of the comments. I'm going to read through a few of these as we've done it. This will be posted, I think, on our Facebook page as well. So if you guys have comments on that, you can leave it on the YouTube channel or the Facebook page. Um, our buddy Delaney, Mike at Delaney Guitars, which you should check out his his guitars anyways because they have Porter pickups in them, and they're awesome too, not just because they have our pickups in them. Um, he, he suggested the Kurt Mangan strings. I don't know if I'm butchering the last name. Um, made in Colorado, and I've heard of them. I, I think I've known a few people that have played them, but I don't have an, a direct experience with, with them, do you? I remember the guitar shop that I used to work at back in the day had them. And I think I remember them having like um, like different kinds of strings and stuff, but I I don't really remember like remembering too much about them, but I have seen them. Okay. Okay. So some other suggestions were um, Hank at Rattlesnake Cables, also another shameless plug, which we want to keep shamelessly plugging our buddies. Oh yeah, look at that. You got a Rattlesnake Cable there. We're about to plug something through that for a future video. Um, he mentions clear tone strings, which I've also seen Ooh. but not tried. Um, I do think when I get a recommendation from people I like and people I trust, it does make me want to try them more. Mm-hmm. Um, and then our, our friend Robert at Master Guitar Academy, great uh, video lessons on YouTube. And he suggested Blue Magic strings, Blue hmm. Magic music strings, which I've never heard. Whoa. I don't think I've never heard of them. Me either. Um I don't think I've ever heard of them. This was double negative. Sorry about that. A uh, lot of suggestions for D'Addario's, some suggestions for String Joy. Uh, let me see some others in here. I'm thinking I'm thinking just kind of like running through some of the cup co- the companies, but you know, even within the companies now, I think about you remember when we first played, there was like two or three options per company. It, and probably more than that, but now it seems like there's you know, there's 150 different types of strings within each category. Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, I love D'Addario's. Uh, they're they've always been kind to me. But you walk in there to like a little store, and like you're like, oh man, there's so many XTs, SSs, yeah. uh, NYXLs, just the XLs. Like, oh, what are these <laughs> pure nickel ones? Which I think are just XL something. I don't know. You know, there's just so many or flat ones with the chromes and. It can be a little uh, disorienting. Oh, man. It can be. And and sometimes when you know you like something, you feel like, I mean, you're really not risking that much money, right, by by dropping maybe 10 bucks on a pack of strings. But you don't want to spend 10 bucks if you're not going to be happy. But you kind of got to, you got to, you know, take the jump, if you will. A, a couple suggestions for the classic Ernie Ball Slinkies, which I used to use the Lime Green 10s for um, – yeah, for a long time until I started kind of getting down the elixir path and in some other directions. I, I still will use those from time to time. Sometimes as shop strings, right? We're just looking for something to put on 
make it sound like they're bad. They're great strings, but looking for something to put on, you know, guitars and then, oh, okay, well, these work because they're the mus- musician's friend's stupid deal of the day or something like that, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> and, I, and it's good to be familiar, too, with Ernie Balls because I think no matter what happens and where you go and what guitar center has no strings, like they'll usually have a, a pack of Ernie's or something, nines or tens, and, you know, you just kind of got to know what those are like to, just for your own benefit, I think. Yeah. They're yeah. everywhere. They really are. Um, some suggestions, kind of some people had commented – um, and Justin Newell, one of our buddies, and actually a former Porter employee, which is cool. Um, cool that he still wants to post on our page. <laughs> actually, he's great, great dude. Um, he mentions D'Addario XL tens and then Elixir Nano Webs for acoustic. Which hmm. sometimes you jump into a different brand for acoustic versus electric. I know I do that pretty often. I don't know. Do you use still? Are you still on D'Addario's for acoustic? Or are you are you off in the weeds for a different brand? I, I, uh, or whatever's on sale. <laughs> well, I do like the elixirs. I think you, you've kind of turned me onto them again, or I like them for acoustics. I've, I tried them one time when I was younger and they were the poly webs and I was like, yeah, I'm not sure. But now that they've got the nano webs, I'm like, yeah, this is like baby bear's porridge or whatever. It's just mm-hmm. right. Just the right of like greasy, but still, you know, s- feels like string, I guess. So yeah. And yeah, Nathan Myers comments here. Um, he chooses elixirs for acoustics because of the fact that they just last longer and he wants, mm-hmm. he doesn't want to change strings so often on acoustic, which I'm, I am in that ballpark for sure. I don't, I don't really want to mess with it too often. Uh, let's see what else we got here. A lot of D Dario fans. A um, couple, yeah, a couple of people said, you know, um, I, they want to try some of the strings, the sub zeros and the coded strings. I think that we're probably in an, in kind of still evaluation mode. I don't think we have a, I don't have anything negative to say about the sub zeros or the coded boomers that we tried from GHS. Um, I don't, I don't want to say that they're not blowing me away. I just don't feel like I've, I think they're great strength. You know, I don't want to say middle of the road cause they're, I don't feel like they are, but mm-hmm. I don't know if you're kind of the same experience for you or. I feel like there's definitely some players that like high, prestige high renowned players that, that just prefer those two and they definitely have like a feel thing about them that i think i noticed with both the coded ones and the sub-zero ones and they were just almost like eq'd a little differently maybe mm-hmm. because of the coding it impacted the how the other ones sounded. i mean i didn't really feel like i heard an impact in the sound mine was more like a feel of the of the coding and for some for some reason i was just like I prefer this coating over that coating, mm-hmm. you know, and that's just almost like a personal preference thing. But they all did the string thing that I needed, and I'm pretty sure I recorded some some tracks with them, and and you know they're on the the demo or whatever, so it's like fine, you know. Um, but it was it's one of those things that maybe you fixate on that is the scapegoat that you're like, oh, it's I, I just don't like the feel of it, so I need it to be. The other thing, being a superstitious guitar player. <laughs> but I, I like the way that they sounded, and it was a fun experiment, and, you know, we like we just like guitar, so. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, I, I noticed that they have, like, a brightness scale on their website. You know, these are the warmest, these are the middle of the road, these are the brightest, and so we kind of, I think we've been just trying to experiment with stuff in certain ranges, and uh, certain guitars are kind of bright to begin with. So if you really want that spanky chicken picking thing, maybe keep on the bright scale. Um, but it's just fun to experiment. You know, uh, us as dealers of those strings, again, we, we are able to, to experiment um, affordably, I guess you could say. If I'm if I'm experimenting with a bunch of really expensive and high higher price strings, I'm not going to want to spend, you know, you could try a new pack of strings every day for who knows how long before you'd run out of brands and, and options. So, um, yeah, where do you guys land on the string discussion? If you haven't, um, been in this discussion on our Facebook page, I think we'll include a link to that, um, on the YouTube side of things. So that way you can go participate in that discussion on Facebook, or you can leave comments on the YouTube channel. We've just been continuing down this road of exploring strings and we just wanted to turn on the camera, plug in the mics and kind of, yeah, just continue that discussion. So any final thoughts, Marco, before we, uh, say goodbye. 
Um, well, I mean, I guess there's just so many out there brands. I know just off the top of my head, the Optima strings, those are mm-hmm. like the gold ones. And then Tomastic strings, or if I'm saying that correctly or incorrectly, those are like the cool flat wounds that, that you got to have if you're playing flat wounds. And I think both of those are premium string yeah. brands. Yeah. So check those out if you don't know what those are. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you guys for, for watching and, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys being a part of kind of this whole transition of the new studio and kind of getting all these things set. We're still, I've got a couple new lights just sitting in a box over there behind the camera, still trying to experiment with this. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging with us during this transition, but we're going to keep the content going and continue to make videos and we'll catch you guys very soon. Yep. See you later. (laughs) 